tonight is, is to tell some stories. When we started uh, uh, downtown in One Capital Center in 1977, we had no idea what we were doing. And to see where it is, has come today is just totally beyond belief for me. There was a feeling of, of, of that anything, this was the Wild West, anything could happen up here. <laughs> no, I really got that feeling. And that feeling like, it was to just sort of do it. And you know, instead of going through 350 years of red tape. <laughs> It's just a man in a backhoe. It's just a man in a backhoe. <laughs> Absolutely, just a man in a backhoe and a dream is all you really need. The most famous opening night in my memory of the festival when we were doing the Tempest and we had major storm clouds. <laughs> and I was playing Prospero and uh, I would go kaboom with my staff and actual thunder would happen. <laughs> We're also living in a tent behind the stage, with bugs in the makeup, people going down the river when they used to be able to drink, going, sure me or not <laughs> We're pulling people out of the river, little. It's just our intern company. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so we get this huge storm, and it's one of those dust storms, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it comes up, and it comes towards yeah. the stage, and I'm in the middle of this curse, and the audience had to get up, and go backstage because the tent was lifting. <laughs> and they went backstage and all of them held the tent down <laughs> so it didn't blow yeah. away. Yeah. You know? yeah. And that's exactly what Mark was talking about, about the Boise audiences. And they're still with us. You're still yeah. with the You guys don't know me, but you have actually had a profound impact on my life. I first saw the Shakespeare Festival when you were directing in 1978. <laughs> that was my first exposure to William Shakespeare, who I have studied in high school and college and honestly kind of throughout my life. No, I'm not going to tell about my first date with my now husband in Shakespeare. Isn't that cool? <laughs> we remember the berm well. Leaders of companies are the people that we look to for the rest of our lives as artists and as communities as the people who created something and that it stays alive and that it grows and that it prospers. And organizations grow just like people. Uh, Doug fathered the sort of uh, the baby to the infant to the toddler to getting in school. I took over sort of the great years, 7 to 11. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> those are when kids are really fun and really exciting and they'll try anything. And you go to and they'll, you know, and they'll obey you. <laughs> then we had some early teen middle school years that weren't so great. <laughs> and then the sort of growing up to be um, young adults and then adults, and, and, and this festival, and, and, and you can see the progression. Uh, and Christina and I have never been in a community at work all across the country as um, as connected and as engaged and as a uh, feeling of ownership that this community has on the Shakespeare Festival. And that was the spirit that, that I felt here, that we, we felt with doing, all, doing the plays, the, the chances we took <coughs> on stage. Um, but it, it's because that, that core, that artistic core was here. And that artistic core, who lived here, who worked here, went to the groceries, went to Albertsons here, it's that same spirit of we're all gonna come together and for three or four months, we're gonna kinda do what has been done for thousands of years. A community coming together, sharing stories and learning about ourselves and learning about each other. Uh, so, here's to all of you. Mm -hmm.